Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to do a complete EGR delete on any Pompeduza engine. Right here, I'm working on this Volkswagen Passat B5.5 from the year 2004 and this has the engine 1.9 TDI, Pompeduza. Also, the engine code is AVV. From this point of view, the EGR valve is located right here on this engine in the left side. And if you also want to do an EGR delete on your car, you'll have to search on the internet EGR delete for your specific car, for your type of engine, and you'll find a lot of results and you'll have to pick one which is the best for you. In my case, I picked this one and I also checked it already. It's working perfectly for this kind of engine. It's fitting perfectly on this car. And from here, I'll have to remove the original EGR valve and all the pipes from around it. And I'll have to install this one back on the car. To remove it, in my case, is very easy because I have a lot of room to work with, but in your case, probably, if you have a 2.0 TDI engine or a smaller engine, probably it will be a little bit difficult, but the steps are exactly the same. Only the size and the EGR valve probably on your car will be different, but you'll have to remove it and you'll have to install a delete kit if you want to. So from here, just follow what I'm doing. It's very easy. You'll have to remove a few bolts, you'll have to remove a few hoses, but the method and the steps are very easy to follow for everyone. As you can see, this is the EGR valve on this car and also this is where it's mounted. So if you want to remove it, you'll have to use a Torx 30 to remove the three screws which are securing the EGR valve mounted to the intake manifold. And after that, you'll have one big hose which is going from the EGR valve to the intercooler. And then you'll have two little pipes which are going into the vacuum of the EGR. And in the last, you'll have one metal pipe which is going from the exhaust manifold into the EGR and which is doing the recirculation of the gases. So as you can see, from here just follow what I'm doing, follow my steps and you'll be good to go. One more thing which I recommend all to do before starting this kind of job, if you never did a job like this, I recommend all to drive the car a little bit until it will reach the normal temperature or until the engine will become very hot. Because if the engine is hot, all the screws and the bolts will come out a little bit easier because the metal will expand and the risk uh, of breaking them will be very small. And also I recommend all to use some WD-40 over the bolts and in special over the bolts from the exhaust manifold because they are very rusted, they are very worn out and in some cases if they are stuck for a long time over the exhaust manifold, over the exhaust pipes, they will come out very hard and in some cases they will break. So this is what I recommend all to do, drive the car a little bit, uh, make the engine very hot and only after that start removing the bolts and start removing the parts which you have to remove from the engine.
Okay, everybody, so as you can see, I'm done with removing the EGR valve and all the parts which I had to remove from this engine. It wasn't difficult at all. It was very easy. This is how the original EGR valve is looking from this engine. And right here, I have the new EGR valve delete, which I'm going to install back in the EGR valve place. So as you can see, this is the difference. From here, the installation will be very easy. One more thing which I have to do before installing the new EGR delete kit on the engine is to delete one more hose. So normally on the original EGR valve you'll have two vacuum hoses. One is for the throttle body and the other one is for the acceleration or something like that on the original EGR. So as you can see on the EGR delete kit you'll only have room for one hose. So I recommend all to delete this hose from right here which is coming from the air filter box. You'll have to remove the the hose completely and you have to put one screw into the little hose which is left on the sensor and you'll have to block the air from not coming out or from not going in and from here you'll have to install the rest of the parts as it was before as it was the original one just with different screws and the different washers After you are done with installing the new EGR delete kit over the intake manifold, you'll have to block the gases which are coming out from the exhaust manifold. So normally right here you had a pipe which was going from the exhaust manifold into the EGR, but right now with the EGR delete kit we have to block the hole and we have to put this metal bracket which already came in the kit with the EGR delete valve and I recommend all to put two washers. You'll have to install the washer which came into the kit and you'll also have to install the original washer which was already mounted with the original EGR valve. So in this case you'll know for sure that no gases will leak, no gases will escape from the exhaust manifold and everything will work perfectly fine.
as you can see I'm done with installing the new EGR delete kit on this engine everything is mounted perfectly everything is mounted where it's supposed to be mounted and from here I will start the car up I will see if everything is working perfectly or not and from there I will show you guys how to do the software delete kit using a VCDS on this engine Right now, I'm inside the car, I'm using this VCDS tool to write the new values of the EGR valve to the ECU of the car. And for example, guys, if you don't have a tool to write the values, for example, if you only deleted the EGR valve physically from the engine compartment, this is perfectly fine, but I recommend all to also write the new values of the EGR into the ECU of the car, because in this way, you will know for sure that everything will work perfectly with the car. So from here, just follow what I wrote right here on the screen, just follow these steps, and you'll be good to go. So for example, you have to go to login, you have to write the code to be able to do some adaptation on the car, after that, you'll have to go to Adaptation, and then you'll have to select the EGR valve from right here. Then you'll have to change the values to 33768, and then you'll have to click Test. Then you'll have to go back to Login, uh, you'll have to go back to Adaptation, click Test again with the new values, and then you'll have to click Save. This is all you have to do. Thank you all for watching. This is how to remove the EGR valve and do an EGR delete kit on any kind of engine like Pompedusa. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video and found it informative, please leave a like and a comment down below. See you next time.